Well, you see this face, Chris? What's that face? This is the face of smug vindication. <laughs> I know. Because we were right. <laughs> to get everybody caught up, we made a video. And um, it was about how this is such a bad idea and how Ryan Murphy's taste and style probably just doesn't vibe with who the actual character of Nurse Ratched is, the one in the Ken Kesey book and movie. And if you guys want to continue to be right with us, uh, give us a subscribe, give us a like. Uh, we're going to have more videos like this. But that was a lie. But if somebody out there enjoys it, and that's great. And I, I, I think especially if you've never seen One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, you're just like, I love what that Ryan Murphy guy does with stuff. Like, cool, here's some, here's some Ryan Murphy leftovers. Letting me into this hospital was the best decision you ever made. Yeah, I feel like they were scraping the bottom of the barrel to justify some paychecks from Netflix yeah. on this I, one. Which just is like, funny to me. Slap this like, name on it. Doesn't, you know? doesn't Sarah Paulson, doesn't she have enough work? Like, like was Sarah Paulson, like, just desperately needed work? I was like, I'm pretty sure she's talented enough to, like, get jobs anywhere. She doesn't need Ryan Murphy's charity or Netflix's charity. I don't know. <laughs> um, but they, and they, you know, funny, funny to say, the cast, like, they had the pretty crazy stacked cast for this thing. Ladies and gentlemen about to witness history i present to you it, that's yes. what sells the show as yeah. best as it can be sold i guess i mean i guess we should talk about the show itself so it's very different than one flu i don't even think you can compare it um one has nothing to do with the other yeah. uh but the show itself uh just watching it on its own merits it's bad it's, it's really half-baked is the best way I can put it. It's half baked. It's my we had this just slap the ratchet name on. Um, I mean, the scripts don't even make sense. Like she's supposed to be a master manipulator or something, and everything is ham fisted and obvious and on the nose. Oh, I beg to differ. It, it is almost like the current political climate of like, if I do a ridiculous thing, but then do an even more ridiculous thing, the pe person will forget the first ridiculous thing. That's like, it's like, that's how the plot moves forward. Like, I'll just do something almost worse, but then they won't remember the thing I did before that. Like, and then it'll be okay. Like, I'm like, what? And, and that's just not how human brains work. No. Um, I mean, how she, she gets the job by, you know, she walks in on a girl philandering uh, at the hospital or whatever, and she blackmails her. And it's like, lady, you're clearly lying to get here, Ratchet, Miss Ratchet. Like, you're a liar trying to lie your way onto my, you know, a staff. Like, we don't know you. Who cares what you say to my husband? Like, you can't blackmail me. I don't know what you're after, but I will not stand for this. And the plot is like just a uh, convenience after convenience. Yeah. And, um, and, and the thing is, it doesn't – What there could be an interesting Ratched-based prequel that could be about how does a person with good intentions for helping others turn into a cog in the machine that is just yes. you know going through the motions and, and actually inflicting harm on others from apathy. Like, oh, man, that could have been an interesting prequel to what this character becomes, the character that we, we meet in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. This was not that. This was like warmed over Ryan Murphy. You know, this is like, oh, what if we did an AHS season, but with no supernatural elements? This is what you would get, only not even as good as that might sound. Do you wanna have fun? I don't know if oh that sounds gosh. good. <laughs> yeah. No, it doesn't sound good. And um, yeah, it's just the name Ratchet with melodramas and um, just horrible, like really bad horror. I think the opening murder made me laugh out loud several times with how odd it was. It's like, you know, horror movies are dark for a reason. Yeah. And this guy's intensity, uh, Finn Whitrock, I think. I mean, I yeah. don't think he's a bad actor. He's had no. some really good scenes. I want to be normal. <laughs> But my God, I just didn't believe any of it. And I was laughing my butt off at the beginning scene. It's so, like, I, this is my, my, the best way I can describe it is, is it's like somebody wanted to parody Ryan Murphy and did that very badly, only it was Ryan Murphy parodying ryan murphy it's just all these scenes are exactly what you think you're like like you know we've talked about like the colors just suddenly gets very intensely green when ratchet feels very like oh people having sex oh it bothers me and sh the whole all the lighting just goes green and and he's turning it into a surrealistic cartoon for like 
no reason. It's just like, oh yeah, she's angry about that. All right, like, like cool. Sarah Paulson's a good enough actor. Right, we can, can we just... can we can buy it from her performance. Like, but yeah, yeah, it's like candy. It's all it's all style and no substance. This yeah. has you know again, as you said, creating this character that becomes apathetic. You know, she has to be at least likable in the beginning, and this no uh, <laughs> you know she's immediately unlikable she's yeah. immediately already the character sort of um, it, it's it's funny because then towards the end it's like oh she's kind of b building this little coalition of women in her life and and stuff and and i'm like okay i don't know it's just the where they took the character was not at all something like, interesting to me yeah. like this is you know what is this gonna have to do with right with jack it, nicholson with jack and nicholson Big chief and, 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 and versus her yeah yes. I even was like almost like weirdly excited that there was going to be this dance sequence thing in the middle, like episode five, I think. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, good. Classic Ryan Murphy. We're going to shoehorn in like a big over the top song and dance number as he does. And it wasn't even good. It was just like, oh, it just looked like a middle school dance, like a bunch of middle aged people at a middle school dance. And I was like, Oh, wow. Even the part that I was like, oh, let's see how Ryan Murphy does like a, you know, super over the, I was like, it wasn't even that over the top. I was like, oh, just kind of disappointing like the rest of the show. But you deserve someone to show you mercy. It has no original score for its opening theme. Yeah. Um, they are, as you told me, I didn't even know, they're reusing like Kate Fear and Yeah, old... they're pulling cues, musical cues from other other things. And, and you know, like exactly- Two sets, three sets. Yeah. That are, and also, I mean, it's the, the clash of like, oh, this is a loony bin, right? But also I want a hotel lobby as right. the lobby. And, you know, you have Mr. Hanover begging for money and I'm like, sell the light fixtures. Right, Like right. sell this the furniture. Like this, this place is so decadent and over the top. And it's just like, well, here's what the story is, but I just want the sets to be what I want. And right. again, all style, it, all no, style. No, no thought, no, no justification. Looking good today, Meldrick. The cinematography was good. The set design Excellent. was good. Like for what they had to work with, like it was actually a good looking show. They had a good cast, just badly written. Like it was just so weird. And I'm sure there's somebody out there who's like, I loved, I don't know what to compare it to, Desperate Housewives or something. Like I loved super melodramatic, you know, soap opera-esque shows. And I don't have any, you know, I'm not all precious about One Flew of the Cuckoo's Nest. Cool, you no, might enjoy either. this. It's really silly and over the top. And if you just like Ryan Murphy being silly and over the top, this, this will, this is more of that. Try your tears. There will be no death today. But hey, you know what? I love us being right. So uh, we got that the going. Best. <laughs> it's the best. It's the best. Um, it's so interesting uh, that clearly people are curious about this show because we've had um, the the first video that we did, kind of previewing it with our with our you know kind of I wonder, uh, you know, got got some attention and some people are commenting on it and. Uh, we had to, you know, obviously follow up uh, with our thoughts after. I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about having it, but we, we'll do, we're doing this for you. We'll do this for you, the audience. We will suffer through eight That's episodes. Right. We got you. We got, we got you. you covered here. But, uh, but yes, if you, if you want to finish and suffer with us, more power to you, uh, you know, but, uh, but we've, we've done the work. We've done the work for you, the Lord's work. That's right. So hit like, hit subscribe, check us out for our upcoming content, and we will catch you next time.